What's up internet? Welcome to Mo's Garage. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I installed a roof basket for a golf cart onto the Xterra. All right, so before we get started, I do want to give a quick shout out to another Xterra YouTuber by the name of DIY Auto and Photo. Now, he's actually not the first one to do this mod. This mod is actually up on the forums. But I want to give him a quick shout out just because I found it on his uh, YouTube channel first. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. All right, everyone. So here are the main components that I'm going to be using to mount this uh, basket to the Xterra. So what's going to happen is we're going to end up drilling some holes onto the basket itself, which are going to accommodate these U-bolts. And these U-bolts are going to hold onto the bars of the Xterra. Um, we do have this rubber strip, which is just going to go in between this U-bolt uh the plastic and and the crossbar and this is just going to help make it a tighter seal um and hold a little bit better against vibrations and whatnot uh but yeah so now to prep the basket i'm going to go ahead and use some blue painters tape we're going to mark off a section here this will just kind of uh signal that this is the front so going forward on the car and then i'm going to put some in here and then on that one as well um, because that's where we're going to drill our holes so once we have it mounted up on the Xterra, we can just kind of sharpie where we need to drill the holes um, and go from there. All right, so let's throw, let's get rid of the uh, crossbars right now on the Xterra, and then we can throw this thing up there. All right, you guys, so in order to remove the crossbars from the Xterra, you're gonna need to remove four bolts, one on each corner of the crossbars. Um, and in order to do so, you're gonna need a T30 Torx bit. Uh, once you unscrew those bolts, you should be able to just lift up on the crossbars and remove them from the vehicle. So let's get out there and take those off. All right, you guys, so we have the crossbars removed from the roof rack and we have the roof basket sitting on those uh, middle supports for the roof rack. Uh, so because of that, actually, this thing likes to teeter back and forth. So I'm going to go ahead and find something that we can kind of set behind there um, to kind of keep this thing straight or as straight as possible. So that way we can mark our holes for where we're going to do our drilling. Uh, so let me go find something real quick and I'll be right back. All right, so I did find this piece of wood that I think will work for uh, trying to make this thing straight. Uh, if we kind of come down here for a second, you can kind of see that uh, it's not the straightest thing ever, but it looks pretty good. Um, and just for reference, that piece of board is about three quarters of an inch thick. Um, and I just kind of wedged it in there on the back, as you guys saw, to keep things everything nice and straight. All right, so up next, we need to go ahead and install the plastic pieces for the U-bolts. I uh, just gotta open them up and insert them over the tube and then just slide them down to where we're gonna put them by the blue painter's tape. Um, you will kinda need to wedge them in there. Uh, we may need to adjust the basket uh, to kinda make sure that they're aligned properly uh, before you kinda mark down your holes. You know the old saying, measure twice, cut once. Uh, this is kind of one of those areas where you just need to take your time, have some patience, and uh, more importantly, just kinda make sure that everything is still nice and straight, especially after we install the other ones. Right now it's looking pretty good, but I need to go ahead and put in the other three and then we'll revisit it in just a sec. All right, so we have all four pieces of those plastic U-bolt housings. Um, whatever you want to call them <laughs> uh, They're all installed on the truck and as you can see everything looks nice and straight pretty decent uh, Pretty happy with it. The nice thing about this setup is you still have enough room to access the handle and lift up and even open The wet box up here. So pretty happy with this. Um, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and take this bad boy down and um, Start drilling I guess just kidding, I lied. We need to mark off where we're gonna drill the bolts. Uh, so I'm just gonna take a Sharpie and go around all four corners, try to mark off where the bolts are gonna go as best as I can. And then we can go ahead and start drilling. Not sure if it looks good for you guys on camera, but from my eyes point of view, this looks pretty centered. All right, so up next, we're gonna go ahead and make a divot for the drill bit. Um, so normally you want to use a center punch, but I actually lost mine. So I'm going to use a sacrificial Phillips head screwdriver and a hammer. 
Um, and the purpose of this is just to kind of make sure that when we start drilling, um, we don't uh, have the drill bit walk. So I'm gonna be doing this on all four corners and then we can go ahead and start doing our pilot holes. All right, so for our pilot holes, I just picked up a really small uh, drill bit, not any particular size, just as long as it's pretty small. And um, you wanna make sure you kind of get this as straight as you can because as soon as you start drilling, um, you want to make sure that you get it as even as you can on the other side. Um, so here I'm going to go ahead and start drilling and then I'll drill all the holes on all four sides and then we'll catch you guys right after. Alright, so now that we've drilled out our initial pilot holes, I just want to throw the basket back on the roof rack real quick just to make sure that those pilot holes line up still and everything's looking good before we actually get to cutting our uh, regular size holes. And as you can see right here, it looks like our pilot holes are still lining up pretty well. Uh, so let's go ahead and take this thing back down and start drilling out the uh, regular size holes. Alright, so moment of truth. Uh, time to drill out those holes. I'm going to go straight into using a 3 8 drill bit. That's the same size as the U-bolts. Uh, uh, now you do need to try to make sure that you do this as straight as possible, especially when going through the second layer, so that way you don't have any interference issues or any, any alignment issues uh, when you're installing the U-bolt. Uh, once we get these drilled out, I'm going to go ahead and just test fit the U-bolt to make sure that it goes through nice and easy. And if not, we can enlarge the holes to kind of compensate for any uh, errors that I may make. So let's get done. That let's get that done, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, you guys. So something that I totally overlooked uh, when doing this project was my U-bolts didn't want to fit initially, um, and it's not that the holes are not drilled properly. I mean. Uh, it's mostly because we have these like metal burrs that we need to kind of smooth out. Thankfully, I do have some uh, files that we can use to kind of smooth it out. Uh, but as you can kind of see right here, um, the U-bolt will fit through. But in order for it to fit cleanly, we do need to clean out those burrs. So make sure you guys have a metal file uh, to kind of file it down, smooth out those holes, and then uh, your U-bolts should fit in there nicely. All right, everyone, so it's a completely different day. I actually don't have the Xterra with me right now. It's actually over at a shop being serviced for the timing chain slap. Uh, so as I'm sitting here in the garage while the Xterra is away, I was a little bored, so I decided to paint the U-bolts for the uh, roof rack. Um, I just think that this will look a little bit better on the outside of the uh, roof rack um, as opposed to the silver slash chrome that it was giving off. Uh, all I did was I just sanded it and then I hit it with some uh, black caliber paint that I happen to have in the garage from a previous project. And that actually got me thinking it might be a good idea to go ahead and hit those holes that we just drilled out uh, with some caliber paint. You can use any kind of paint. Uh, I'm not going to be showing the process just because I'm not the greatest spray painter ever. And uh, I'm sure you guys can come up with a better way to do it that may give you better results. But definitely worth mentioning. Once I get the Xterra back, um, we'll go ahead and throw this up there and we'll wrap up the project. All right, everyone, so we are back in business. The Xterra is back home. Let's go ahead and throw the roof basket up top. Uh, thankfully, I still have that blue painter's tape to indicate which side it goes uh, towards the front of the vehicle. Um, and let's go ahead and start installing those U-bolts. So the next step is to kind of install those black uh, plastic housings for the U-bolts. And uh, in order to do so, we got to install this rubber strip, which I've already pre-cut to the circumference of the crossbar. And to kind of hold it in place, I found that using electrical tape works really well because it's super thin and it won't kind of get in the way of the housing. So go, go ahead and install that to kind of keep it in place. And then we'll go ahead and get our black plastic housing and just kind of wedge it in there. Uh, now, this particular one that I'm working on right now is the fourth one. Um, so things got a little bit tight, uh, you know, just kind of take your time with it. Once you kind of get it on there, um, feel free to move the basket around as needed in order to kind of, uh, get this last piece in there. And once this is on there, uh, you got to circle back and make sure that, uh, the basket is still in place properly, all the holes align. Um, that way the U-bolts will just slide in no problem. So take some time to do this, be a little patient. Uh, but as I said before, uh, you can go ahead and lift the uh, basket, move it around, move the seal around, move the U-bolt uh, housing 
around and uh, just kind of take your time with it. So let me get this on here and then I will circle back with you guys in just a sec. All right, so now that we made sure that the holes line up properly, it's time to go ahead and start installing the U-bolts. Um, these, sh this should slide in pretty easily. Yep, just like that, nice. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing all the rest of them and then we can kind of look it over afterwards. All right, so the U-bolts on this side are in and this is looking really nice. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. Let's go ahead and fasten the bolts so we can call this project done. One of the nice things about these U-bolts is they actually come with nylon lock nuts. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, install them by hand and then I'm gonna use a 14 millimeter socket to tighten everything down. And once everything's nice and snug, do all four corners and then done. All right, you guys, so the Xterra's roof basket is officially fully installed. Um, I really like the way this turned out. I think it's uh, very subtle. It's not something that sticks out uh, very high off the original roof rack. Um, I really like the way the black U-bolts came out. I didn't end up painting the inside pieces, like the nut and the inside part of the U-bolt, the but as you can see right here, it, it, it's not something you really notice um, as much as the outside, in my opinion. But yeah, that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, have a great day.